<laughs> Good morning, everyone. Happy Sunday. Hope you all are doing well today and have had a good week. You got fancy over there. With the tripod? Yeah, well, you know, we were using that board and um, it's so big and bulky. Right. Plus, it wouldn't have worked out very well now that this thing, if we come in next Sunday and this whole side is taken up, then I guess we'll have to flip everything around that way. I know, it's like so every week there's something new. <laughs> it does, it gets added to, which is great. It's just really neat. Um, I kind of want to come in here and see. Y'all could probably see that in the background there. Um, I'll say, where is Jennifer at today? Where is she teaching from? That doesn't look like the same place. <laughs> yeah, we have, um, we have some exciting things that we've been discussing this morning, some projects that our class um, is talking about taking on. So we will be keeping you posted with that. And um, we would love to have your help. It's something that we need everybody. We need lots of hands and feet on the field, right, Sarah? Yes, yeah. we need lots of, of people to help with that so that we can accomplish more. Many hands make light work, right? Somebody said that one time. So that's the truth. I, I'll have to say a little bit about it. I wasn't physically there, but my dad was sending me pictures and stuff from yesterday, but there was a work day at Miss Nancy's farm, and um, she has to have lots of wood to heat her house during the winter, that's their, their main source of heat, and so she needed some wood, and I don't know how many, it looked like 25, it might have been more than that. Okay, all right, that's what that looks like. A good guess than one. Maybe some I should came, go shake some them. Left, some came yeah. yeah, well it was, It looked. my dad was just going on and on about it, he said it was just awesome how much they were able to get accomplished in such a short amount of time, but that's because so thankful. a lot of people, yeah, I know you are, I know you are. What a, what a wonderful project to be part of. Think of anybody much more special than that family. <laughs> we love them. Love all y'all. Hello, Jenny. Good, Good to see y'all here this morning. I think this is the most we've had so far. So, welcome back. And um, we're excited. I'm excited to move forward. Boy, don't we need something to be excited about and happy about. And what a privilege it is to be in God's house today. You know, I just, I don't know. There's. There's just so much going on that, um, you know, when when my heart is overwhelmed, lead me to the rock that is higher than I. And I think that's where we need to be, running to the rock. And so you guys have been, y'all have ran to the rock. Ran, is that the right English? Y'all ran to the rock today. <laughs> this is where we need to be. He's our cover and he's our, our mighty fortress and our strength. And, um. I'm going to go ahead and take prayer requests. Then I'm going to tell you about something that we are working on, too. That's not a project, but it's a um, just something else that, that has been on our heart. Does anybody have any prayer requests this morning? Some of the kids are going back to school. Oh, that's yeah. right. City schools go back tomorrow? Part of them, yeah. Part of them. Okay, well, you know it can be done. That's what the county school will tell you. It can be done. So I'm glad to see them getting back in school and getting on back on a routine. I know they parents are happy yes. for that too <laughs> y'all are in county though right so yeah, well, yeah. Same problem. it's same for i know i know it's still a lot of hoops to jump through and you know you feel like it's just you know it, it takes you got to get up earlier <laughs> you know it takes a little bit extra patience and more time i'm sure um to navigate through things we've been away this weekend and um I said it, it felt like we only got half of what we normally get done in a weekend, but it's because, you know, you can only, so many people can only be in a certain place, and, you know, you go to the bathroom, and they've got two sinks and four stalls, you know, and the line is, like, out the door, and then the mm -hmm. sink don't work. I mean, it was like, there was so much this weekend, the bathrooms weren't being clean. It's just a whole lot that people have really just got to exercise a lot of patience for. So, if you're not a patient person, you probably should just stay at home. Sarah Osner <laughs> says that Katie Joy isn't feeling good. Oh, She's running no. up. I have fever. Oh, my. Well, Sarah, we'll be remembering Katie Joy in our prayer this morning for sure. Oh, no. That's no good. Anybody else? 
All right, well, we're going to go to the Lord in prayer today, and um, we're just going to cover this house this morning. Sarah, would you lead us today? Father, it's an awesome privilege to come into your presence, Lord. We just thank you, God, for this group of people. God, thank you for this wonderful class, Lord. Thank you for your presence, God. Thank you for your precious Holy Ghost that abides, that comforts, that sustains, that leads us, that guides us, that strengthens us. God, thank you for unity in a body, God. Thank you for in a time where this nation and this world are topsy-turvy, God. Thank you that this group of men and women to say, you know what, as for me and my house, I'm going to serve the Lord. I'm going to come where my brothers and sisters are. God, we thank you for Timothy and Jennifer. Thank you for their unction to have this class, Lord. God, we pray a blessing over every family member, God, that has walked foot in this house today. We ask, God, that you would bless the words that comes out of Jennifer's mouth. God, let it be let it be food for us, Lord. God, let us take it and do something with it. God, let it be transformation. Father, we know that your word is already blessed and established. God, we pray for sweet Katie Joy, God, that the healing power of the Lord would come in that house. God, that Sarah, God, and her husband would gather together and anoint that baby. God, Lord, I know that you can do it. God, I'm a testimony. When you've done that for me as a child, I felt that fever break. God, and you can do it for this sweet baby. God, and we bind sickness off of that house and we loose the healing power of the Most High God. For Lord, it is your stripes on your back that you took, God. The scars are still there, the word tells us, Lord. Oh, we thank you for the blood today, God. God, we thank you that you protect this house and every person associated, God. Anoint our pastor today. Anoint the worship, Lord, as we come and we gather, Lord, to worship your name, God. Oh, we thank you, God. Now strengthen every person, God. Go with every family member, woman, boy, girl, child, man, God, into their will weak. Father, help them to be salt and light, God. Let us make a difference for the kingdom. Let us get busy, God, while there is still time. God, while it's still day, because the night is coming, Lord. The night is coming. Father, we thank you for your presence, Lord. Have your way. In Jesus' name, we ask and pray, Father. Amen. 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 Thank you, Lord. Amen. Praise your name. And Shannon does have his surgery coming up, too. Yes. Yeah. Absolutely. Jesus. He's on our prayer list, Shannon. We'll be praying for you. And I am, in the middle of the week, I, it hit me. Vanessa, I did not ask how your family's doing last week. Can you give us an update okay. on them? Your family? Yeah. Yeah. We've been, oh. We have been praying for them oh, a yeah, couple weeks. Yesterday. He's doing, doing well. He's doing, they're all doing well. He's still yeah. having, he said, breathing issues. He's not getting yeah. heavy like that. But he said, oh, well, he's back to work, but he works in a truck. I mean, he's yeah. a truck driver. Himself, right. So he's he's able to work. But as far as coughing, he's just taking his energy out. Yeah. Well, good. Praise the Lord for that. We've been praying for them, and like I said, I meant to ask you yesterday and or last week, and I was driving somewhere into town, and I said, Oh, I know what it was. I passed your house. Oh. On Friday morning, I said, Oh my goodness, we didn't find, we didn't check on Vanessa's family, see how they were doing. So I'm glad to hear that. So good report. I need my coffee this morning. <laughs> um, well, I want to tell you, we're going to get into our lesson, and we'll be finishing up with this, Lord willing, next week. Um, but I wanted to tell you something that I feel like the Holy Spirit has laid on my heart, and I discussed it with Tim, and been talking, we've been talking through it, and, and think that maybe it's something that would be of interest to the rest of you. Um, who's ever heard of, like, the Advent, or celebrating the Advent? Okay. Um, there is, I, just every year I, I run into like studies or things you can do with your family to celebrate the Advent. And basically the Advent is like the five weeks, uh, leading up to Christmas. And so each week you, um, you take like a, something to do with the coming of Christ and you study that and you prepare your home in a certain way. There's activities that you can do. It's kind of like, um. I don't even know how to, I don't want to compare it to Hanukkah or like that, but you know how they have like certain things they do each week and they light the candles and stuff. So the Advent is, is kind of similar to that in a way, but, um, I had been researching it and I came across the study, study, sorry, not steady, study, 
um, that I thought would be neat to do together. And I wanted to do it for our family, and then I thought, well, it's more fun with, you know, when you got more people, right? So I thought maybe it would be something that we could just start. It would be the week before Thanksgiving we would start it, and so it would be our Advent study, and we would, you know, talk about different things we can do at home that week to prepare our home and our hearts mm -hmm. for the real meaning of Christmas. And, you know, we get bombarded every year with a lot of commercialism of Christmas, and, you know, it is, it's always been our desire in our home to make sure that we really center ourselves in our home around the true meaning of Christmas. And that's Jesus, right? He is the reason for the season. So um, we'll give you more information on that. It won't be anything you'll have to order or purchase or anything, um, but it's just something that's coming up that, you know, I just thought was kind of cool to, you know, you'll want to be here, right? you want to be here if you can, starting in, in um, that week in November. I love organizing. Yeah, I know, me too. I guess that's what it is about me too. I like structure and routine and knowing like what's coming and yeah, that's. I think that'll be good for you. Yeah. Well, thank you. I'm glad that y'all are interested too. <laughs> yeah, that that makes that's right. Something to look forward to. That's right. Yes. Bring it back down. That's. In the year. Yes. 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 Well, the name of, this is another kind of one of those confirmation days she's talking about. The name of the study is Dwell. And it really, like, it just kept, and it really talks a lot about, like, things you could do in your home. Like, each week is, like, it's the kitchen. It's, the, it's just, like, different parts of the house. So it's bringing it into your home. But that word Dwell was just, it just really, like, popped off the page at me. Well, just this, one of the sweetest sisters that I've really just come in, not really in contact with because I only know her through Instagram. But you know when you meet somebody and they're just a kindred spirit and you were like, where have were we separated? I mean, you know, <laughs> it's just it's one of those those kind of things. She's just such a kindred spirit. But um, I've been following her on Instagram and she put out, it was on her Insta story this week, and she's just so full of inspiration and wisdom. And um, Crystal is her name. And I want to, I can't think of her last name right off. But Magnolia Molasses is her. If you want to look her up and follow her on Instagram, Magnolia Molasses. And she is one of the sweetest people. Just like I said, I've had, we've messaged each other back and forth. And I'm like, when can we meet up? You know, that's how I feel. But, um, yo, yeah, she is Southern. Yeah. But just the, just the sweetest, sweetest girl. Anyway, she was talking about, um, she wanted to share something. And she said, you know, we, we've heard, and, you know, especially this week and everything. And I don't want to get too far, of course. My time's getting away. But I'll, I'll just do it in a nutshell. We've, you know, Psalm 91, verse 1. Okay, y'all could probably all quote that. We have heard Psalm 91. It's probably one of the most repeated scriptures through this whole thing. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. And she said, I want to talk about the word dwell. And I was like, okay, you got my attention because here I am looking at this study. Dwell keeps popping out to me. And she stayed on that, and she said, yeah, do you know what the word dwell means? It means to set up permanent residence, mm. to stay, to immerse, to get in. She said, some of y'all don't know the difference between dwelling and dipping in and dipping out. And you've been dipping in and dipping out, and she said, it's starting to show. Woo! Yeah. And she was, call, you know, she was calling it different ones. And we're talking about people in leadership. When we went to bed on Tuesday night and woke up on Wednesday morning there was a shift in the atmosphere and it could have been on a positive side but it almost felt like a really negative shit i mean you know you had to be careful to keep your ground and if you aren't firmly planted and dwelling you know you're gonna get swept away yeah. because this thing is just swirling and really we're at the point right now only god can fix this mess i mean you know we just we got to keep our eyes on jesus He's the only one that our eyes should be on right now. There's, you know, there's no, no party can save you. It's Jesus Christ, right? <laughs> but anyway, she's talking about dipping in and dipping out and how we've got to get permanently planted. And that's what that dwell meant. And when we dwell in the secret place, that's where our shadow comes from. That's where our covering comes from. And you know what a shadow is? It's a covering. It covers everything around it. And that's what Jesus can be. We don't have to live in fear. We don't have to 
be burned down and just depressed. And I, I really have felt that this week. And probably if we're all being honest and we turn on any source of media, it's felt like, oh, it just feels dark and icky and like despair. And either side you look at, I'm talking about both sides. It just feels like, well, this one's doing this side, but this one's doing this side. And where does the truth lie? And I remember yesterday hearing all everything. I was like, Lord, you know the truth. You are the truth. You are the way, the light. We got to listen to your voice. And I may not even get to my lesson today, but I was, I was talking to my family last night, and I said, you know, I said, the enemy wants to divide us yes. so much. He is just having himself a heyday. I don't care if Mickey Mouse won. He still would be trying to divide us. Yeah. That is his goal in this. It's not going to get any better no matter who's in office with the division. We've got to come together as a body of Christ. And that's what I was telling my family. I said, you know, we feel like we're, you kind of, at times you feel like you're alone. But hey, wait a minute. We have a family. Yes. We are a family. It's a body of Christ. I don't care if you're black, white, yellow, purple. We are a family. Yeah. And we've got to come together as a family and unite like families do. I don't care what side of the fence you're on. We've got to come together. You know, you might not, you might like sweet potato casserole and your sister mm -hmm. might like green bean casserole. Mm -hmm. But you're still going to live in, you yeah. still going to sit in the same house and eat Thanksgiving together, right? I mean, mm -hmm. yeah. it's, it's the enemy. It's the enemy. The enemy. <laughs> He's trying to call us division. We got to come together. Yesterday at my mom's house, these men showed up to cut. And I, last night I was just, you know, going to sit down and getting ready to go to sleep just, you know, and reflect on everything of the day. And I was thinking on that, you know, and I thought, God, that was a perfect picture and how appropriate for our men to lead to lead it yesterday and not calling out anybody I mean if you weren't there that's not uh, no condemnation I'm not saying at all I'm just saw, I thought I saw yesterday people people coming together because yeah. mm -hmm. my aunts you know fixed the meal appropriately COVID protected and all that doing everything you know to do to keep everyone safe healthy but I thought that is what the enemy wants to do. That's mm -hmm. why he's wanting to yeah. quarantine and right. separate, keep everybody in. Because yeah. when unity happens, mm -hmm. you know, when unity happens with people, mm -hmm. great things get accomplished in right. a short time. Right. That's right. Yes. So, yeah. amen. Yeah, that's right. You're right. And, you know, not being able to hug each other and stuff. It just, and I will tell you, when you're behind the mask, Unless you really know how to smize. You know what I'm saying? Smize. Y'all know what smize is, right? Smiling eyes. Smiling eyes. But if I just look up at you, if I look up at you like this, but I look it up at you like this, see, my face is doing the same thing, right? But it almost looks like they're staring at me. They're glaring at me. They're giving me ugly look. <laughs> I mean, you know, what? we got to be, I mean, seriously? And that kind of is what that what it feels like we're being separated and i don't know why but the lord gave us a mouth that had the ability to bring joy to smile it's a beautiful thing i can do so much with my mouth that reflects how i feel on the inside but when that's covered up you don't know it's hard oh she got something in her eye or you know <laughs> i mean you know so it's just, we just, like I said, got to keep our eyes on Jesus. Even through the weekdays. I, was, I woke up with that song in my mind, that old Michael W. Smith song, In a World Where We Really Don't Belong. But if I keep my eyes on Jesus through the weekdays, W-E-A-K, then even on the weekdays, he'll make me strong. See, we got to keep our eyes on Jesus. Okay, I'm going to try to get into this lesson. While we can. While we can. <laughs> <laughs> Why well, we can't get through this lesson? Because Jennifer will stop talking. Um, but we, <laughs> good, stuff. good stuff. Right. Well, maybe we just all need to be reminded, myself included. Because I'm going to tell you, it's, it's really come to, I could be okay five minutes for five minutes. I mean, seriously. And then something, somebody can send me a text, did you know? Or something, and then my whole demeanor just, oh, no. And you have to be, that's why 2 Corinthians 10, 
five. I, I don't know. It's somewhere in secret. I think that's right. Ten five. You know, the Cos uh, Jennifer Archog and Sarah Kaiser can correct that about bringing every thought into captivity, right. bringing it into the obedience of Christ. And, you know, we have to be careful because those thoughts are going to come every which way. But we got to stay in God's word and remind ourselves who we are. And so today I want to talk about a lack of confidence. Why we can't, why we can't, a lack of confidence. So we've been talking about, let's just recap for a second. Things that keep us from moving on, why we can't. Looking back, we talked about that. Lack of time, lack of energy. Today we're going to talk about a lack of confidence. So I want to go to Isaiah 41, verse 10. And it's a lot of scripture, so I'm going to move quickly. If y'all want to jot them down, you can. Or if you're a quick flipper, you can do that too. But Isaiah 41.10 says, Fear not, for I am with you. Be not dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you. Yes, I will help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. I love, love, love that scripture. Because on those days when we feel overcome by this world, when we feel that fear and the enemy trying to take our eyes, blur our focus off of who's in control for real, then we can remember that we don't have to fear because he's with us. We don't have to be dismayed. What's dismayed me? Disgruntled, discouraged, frustrated. Boy, I've gone through. Anybody else felt frustrated this week? Anybody? Good. I'm not by myself. That makes me feel better. Yeah. Um, we don't have to be dismayed. Oh, hush. <laughs> Isaiah 41 to you. We'll, we'll uh, get a couple scriptures anyway. Um, Isaiah 41 10, yeah. Fear not, for I am with you. We can have confidence in God. We, If we have confidence in ourselves, we're going to, you know, get discouraged and disgruntled because we can't do this on our own. If we have confidence in the government or a certain person or a certain party, yeah. we're going to be disappointed at some point. We're going to be discouraged. But if we have confidence in God who says he's always with us, that he'll strengthen us, he'll help us, he'll even hold us up with his righteous right hand, then we no, we have a confidence. We don't have to fear. We have confidence in him. Okay, just two more. Philippians 1.6. Uh, Philippians 1.6 says, All right, being confident of this very thing, that he who begun a good work in you will complete it until the day of Jesus Christ. We can be confident in this one thing, he said. That he who began the good work. Who's the one who began the good work? Christ. That's right. We can have confidence in that. He's going to complete it until the day of Jesus Christ. And we know what day that is. That's the great day that we are all looking for when he returns and sets up his kingdom. All right, Proverbs 3, 5, and 6. I bet some of you don't even have to turn here for this one. This happens to me. You know, when I was growing up, I would, I would say, this is my favorite scripture. As I've gotten older, I've, had, I've accumulated several favorite scriptures, but this is one that I, is near and dear to my heart. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Don't lean into your own understanding, but in all your ways, acknowledge him, and he will direct your path. And we have to remember that we have to put our trust in the Lord. So our lack of confidence is our lack of confidence in Christ, in God, and who we are in Him. You know, we try to be confident in other things. We try to use other things to bring us only what only He can bring us. Proverbs 3.26 says, For the Lord will be your confidence and will keep your foot from being caught. You know, and I think that that's another thing. If we're not careful, we can get caught up in this mess. We can become entangled, you know, in a web of deceit. It was, um, I was thinking about that quote this week, too. I remember learning that poem, Walter, was it Walter Scott? Is that right? Walter somebody? Um, in school, it says, what a tangled web we weave when first we practice to deceive. You know, I was thinking, if that just popped in my head, that I thought, 
You know, that scripture says getting your foot caught. You ever got caught in a spider web? Yeah. Not like the worst thing. You're just out having a good day, walking in with your family in the woods or even through your yard. And that thing get in you and then for the rest of the day, you're like, I know it's on me. <laughs> <laughs> I can't see it, but I know it's here. <laughs> Yeah, y'all know what that means, right? So that's what God says. He'll be our confidence. We won't even, he will keep us from getting our foot caught. He'll keep us from getting ensnared and entangled in the webs of this world. Because they are many. They are many. Philippians 4, 13. I'm going to keep going until I hear the, yeah, oh, there it is. <laughs> I was in a race. But Philippians 4, 13, y'all know that one. I can do all things through Christ. Who strengthens me. So where do we get our confidence today? Through Christ. Do we get our confidence in this world? No. Do we get our peace from this world? That was another one. I think it's John. That was another scripture that popped in my spirit this week. That my peace I give to you. Not as the world gives. You know, don't let your hearts be troubled. Don't be afraid. It's his peace. You know, we have to just hold on to that. Will you hold on with me? Yes. Yes. Let's let's hold on together, family. We are family. That's right. We might be divided on many different fronts, but don't let the church be divided. You know, because this is we've got work to do in these days. And light illuminates the darkness. We were doing that little experiment at our house. Y'all can do that when you get home too with your kids if you want to. Go and just to have a dark room. And when they say, Oh, but think I hear all this stuff. It's just bad. It's bad. It's bad. And I'm going to say, I say, Jesus is the what? Jesus is the light. Is the light in you? Is Jesus in you? Okay. Let me show you how we can be a light to the world. And you flip that one switch, that one bulb on, and it illuminates the rest of the dark. One light illuminates the darkness. And that's what we are as the body of Christ. We are a light to the world. And so it doesn't take much to illuminate the darkness. You know, little is much when God is in it. I can take you back through scripture. Gideon thought he didn't stand a chance, did he, That's Sarah? Right. right? But God did a lot with a little. And if he did it back then, he can do it again. We got to keep our eyes on him. I love y'all. Don't be discouraged this week. Be encouraged. Be encouraged. God's got this. You're an overcomer through Jesus Christ. Be confident in him. We love y'all. Bye-bye.